Hello people, my name is Reed, and welcome and all to our Isaac after per feed and streak And I have a feeling that today's run is going to be mad sick, yo, in it And the reason for that, the reason for that, oh, it's a lovely flower Ah, that, oh, that looks really that, that was, um, that was the quickest from whitest person ever Oh my hell, stop speaking, to... Actually, I kind of think I now prefer it when you were being the whitest ever stop speaking. So, really, everything you've said so far has been horrible. I'm going to close the video and goodbye. Yay! God, I suck at this, considering I've done this for so many years. Hopefully, to the three of you that are still left watching. Sorry. You maybe sometimes might yell. But that's normal. That's normal. That just means the treatment is working. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind the prayer card. It is a lot of health, and it's certainly better than the deep sea scrolls. But at the same time, oh, God, I want a better first item. But at least we do have a lot of health going on, which at least means we've got a lot of devils going on. we got a lot of mistakes I can make, which is always good. I don't mind admitting that when I'm in a situation where I'm allowed to make lots of mistakes, I feel happier because uh, you tend to make less mistakes when you know you can make mistakes because you end up being in a more confident position knowing that you have the safety blanket. So it's kind of ironic in uh, that sense. But for the most part, the reason that I decided to so, so horribly immediately make everybody regret their decision to click on this video is because this is actually the first video I'm recording post my illness. So for the last few days, I have been in the world's most excruciating pain. I, I really have, but I've managed to man my way through it. I totally wasn't a walking zombie, constantly reminding everyone that I'm so ill and in pain and you, why won't you love me and make it better? So you might still be able to hear that my voice is a little bit uh, off, but it's just, it felt like my head was going to explode, it felt like my nose was going to explode, it felt like my mouth was going to explode, it's, it's actually quite alarming just how much TNT I got packed into my body, but there you have it, and uh, it was just a horrible case of the flu, and it, and it sucks, because I, I, like, I want to make videos for you guys, but every time I started it was like, hey, ow! Oh god, it's painful. Oh my god. Like that was that was effectively my day for the last few days. But now, now I feel able. Now I am going to tough it out. I am going to make it happen. And I am going to make it happen in glorious fashion in this Eden Street, because our number of victories in a row is climbing. Oh, come on. On. Is this going to be one of those runs that is just permanent back to back to back? Tear? That's not bad. That's not bad at all, actually. That's something we really, really needed here. A nice little bit of free damage up. And this room might turn out to be pretty good. The mushrooms made... Oh, come on. It's bit... Oh, wow. No, actually, that's excellent. Damage up and tears up. I will forgive you, item room, because need you, I do not. For secret and curse have me going on strong. Oh, God damn. It is really, really weird, though. My my body, I think, has a very interesting interaction with being ill that kind of amplifies it and makes it a lot worse than normal. And you would think that that's because, you know, I, I never go outside because the real world is scary and should be left alone. Uh, so, consequently, my immune system's pretty weak because it's not used to being ill, but that's actually not the case. I have a surprisingly very strong immune system, just, like, as a person. So, Danny had this illness way before me. She started feeling bad, like, maybe a week and a half ago. All right, this is getting better and better. I'm liking it. Uh, a little bit of horn is just what I needed. They say it's a uh, very, very good for you if you grind it into powder and then consume it uh, through a straw. I actually, could you actually drink powder with a straw? I kind of want to go get a packet of sherbet and stick a straw in it, but I, I feel like people would be a little bit confused if I actually did that. I, I think it's not the most normal thing in the world, but screw the normals! If I want a sherbet straw, then I will have a sherbet straw. <laughs> Although that kind of implies a straw made out of sherbet, which would just be awful, because it would just kind of get soggy and sticky, and when it gets soggy and sticky, it's just hard to eat properly. 
Moving on. <laughs> But no, it is just the worst, right? Like, when you have the, like, dib dab. Has anyone ever had a dib dab? It's like a lolly, and you put in the sherbet, and it sticks to it, and it's all good. But when you have uh, something that's like a tube, like a tube of sherbet, and you accidentally get a little bit too much saliva in the end, and then it kind of clogs up, and you can't get the rest of it. Oh, it is just the worst feeling. Just the absolute worst feeling. I should have used my health up a little bit earlier, but... I don't suppose it matters too much. Uh, overall, that was a pretty good flaw. Seriously, I hate it when you sherbet clogs. I'm just saying. I forgot about it. I'd repressed it to the very depths of my memory. But now I'm just thinking about all those times that I was so sad that my sherbet clogged and I could not eat the rest of it. It's like I paid money for this sherbet chew, but now I've got nothing left. I mean, you could always get like a scissors and cut. Yes, a scissors. I will take one scissors scissors please and cut it in the middle and have other ends to uh, to absorb the sherbet from but you know for the most part when I'm upset and a kid you know that's just that's just not something that I'm gonna think about you know it's like the time that I got an ice cream on holiday in Spain I was on the beach and I got an ice cream and it was like a triple scoop set up and I was really happy and the first scoop fell on the floor in the sand and I was so upset that I angrily threw the other two scoops in the sand because I was like fuck this if I can't have all three scoops I don't even want the two that I have left. Burn it all down! Apparently, Kid Me was the type of person who had the kind of mentality that if I, if I'm going to get screwed over here, that the world shall burn alongside me, which made me kind of a bastard of me. I will admit, I will fully say, if I ever went back in time and met Kid Me, I'd be like, dude, dude, you need to calm down because you're a bit of a prick, mate. And he'd be like, who do you to say that about me? And I'd be like, bitch, I'm you. And he'd be like, whoa. And I'd be like, yeah, whoa. And he'd be like, cool. So we learned how to go back and try. And I'm like, yeah, we do. Ain't that dope for shizzle. High five. And then he goes, oh, God, I turn out like you. And then, well, I changed my entire timeline in, in a cruel trail of irony. But, you know, disappointing my younger self uh, aside, although how cool would that be? I know it's been explored lots in various fiction, but actually, this could, should be a library, right? No, that would make the other one a library. Well, let's go uh, see uh, that. I know it's been explored lots in fiction, but if you could actually go back in time and, like, meet your, say, say 10-year-old or maybe 12-year-old, old enough to kind of understand self uh, and kind of just tell them things and and uh, see what they thought of you. What do I want? What do I want? Fortunately, we got the jump manual here, though I'm going to have to get at least one key anyway. So we'll just take Book of Belial. I think the damage is fine. And let's be real here. We do have a lot of health. I also haven't got the item room. I was about to go to the boss and then just move on. I completely forgot items exist for a second. <laughs> But yeah, I think it would be a very interesting conversation because, of course, you could give your ki your kid self loads of pointers and things to do differently. But at the same time, would you want to? Would you want to risk completely screwing uh, everything up? And at the same time, do you? God, just okay. Three for three on kind of underwhelming spacebar items in my item rooms. That's that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Oh, it's so fine. Uh, me saying that is like, kind of like a serial killer walking up to you with a knife that's already covered in blood going, I'm not going to kill you. No, no, I'm not going to kill you. As he starts like waving the knife around towards you, but still maintaining, no, definitely not going to kill you. Uh, you know, I, I think you'd be forgiven for thinking, me. Maybe he's pulling your leg, you know. Maybe he is bending down and yanking your chain. God, oh, humans and expressions, don't you love it? I'm sorry that my mind is all over the place today, guys. I'm sorry I'm being more tendential than usual and even more scatterbrained, but I am still very much reeling from my colossal illness, and it's, it's kind of it's kind of frying my brain. And so as I was saying about my immune system, it tends to... Oh my god, curse streams have been good to us today. Contract from below, don't you know? So my immune system is very good. So Danny had this illness for like a week before me, and then I got it. And then literally the day after I started feeling the effects of me having it, 
everything hit me like the proverbial ton of bricks. It was unreal. I, like, got every symptom that she described having over the week and a half in one day. She had headaches at one point. She had coughs at one point. She had a sore throat at one point. And I'm there with literally everything at once. My nose is blocked. I've got a splitting headache. I, I am coughing all the time. My throat hurts. I feel exhausted. It's like every single symptom stacked and applied at once during one day for no apparent reason. And then the next day, I felt almost immediately practically better again. I still felt a little bit tired, still a little bit painful, but it had basically gone away. So it's like my immune system went, all right, all right, brain, body, we have shit to do. We have people to make happy. We have videos to create. So what we're going to do is we're going to experience and fight this entire illness cycle in one day instead of a week. It's going to suck, but by gum, is it the efficient thing to do? And I'm kind of proud of my body, you know? I am very, very proud of it. Like, the ability to just condense this entire illness into one day and then just have a couple of days of a little bit of recovery. Like, right now, I'm, I'm probably feeling 90% again. Again, but the fact that I managed to get over this entire illness for the most part in a couple of days seems absolutely insane when it's something that Danny's had for like a week and a half. I'm just like, yeah, go you. My internal efficiency is off the charts. Now, the thing is, I've always had kind of internal efficiency like that. I mean, I imagine a lot of you guys do as well, but I, for example, have never, ever needed alarm clocks in my entire life because I will always wake up at the time that I think to myself before going to sleep. I need to. God damn, Abel, seriously. And I've always kind of had a really nice body clock, so I feel like it's an extension of that. But, yeah, what I found out is that I have just a really brutally efficient immune system that just puts me through the pain so I can get the gain, and I think that's definitely quite amusing. But my voice may sound a little bit off, as I said, so I apologize if that is correct. So this run so far, I mean, there's this potential there. We've got a fairly decent tier rate. We've got a fairly decent damage stat. We have an orbital. That's cool. But quite literally, every good thing we've got has come from not an item room. So... That's kind of unfortunate. Oh, we're gonna swap space bars. Do I want Krampus's head? Or do I want uh, Book of Belial, if that becomes the choice? I'm not actually sure. I'm kind of really hoping for Lump of Coal, just so I don't have to make that horrible, horrible uh, decision. Yeah! All right. Good times, good times. Let's uh, grab ourselves that damage and move on. I don't know what it is with me randomly saying these words differently, but that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Fine, yes it is. To the depths we go, and... I mean, I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I was gonna go for it, because generally speaking, these little bonus rooms have done really well for me this run, and I was hoping my luck would hold, and we'd end up with something like Cricket's Head out of that, which would be a very nice final piece to this puzzle, but of course, that didn't happen. But it's fine, we can explore this floor like the rhyming explorers that we are. That would be a great club, wouldn't it? The, a, the League of Rhyming Explorers. We went to an uncharted jungle to see if we could get into a rumble. But lo, one of our group, he fell and tumbled. And when he returned, he looked a sight and he grumbled. I fell down a hill and I nearly was kill. I can't help but notice you didn't help me, Bill. Dick. And then they end up having a massive argument and getting lost in the rainforest, and it's really sad for everyone involved. God damn it, Bill. Isn't Bill such a bastard? I mean, obviously, if your name starts with the same letter as a word, that means that you are that letter. That's just how it works. I I'm pretty sure that works for everyone. I'm gonna leave the other blank room there. There's no real need for me to go too crazy with it. Okay, gotta get that. That would be cool, though. I guess, to be fair, there's hardly any positive words beginning with J that I could gain through that system. Because all I can really think of is... Uh, 
J I actually can't think of a single thing beginning with J. Oh my god! That might as well have been Godhead for how much superior it is to the other items we've found. I will take it and I will love it. I don't even care at this point. That is absolutely fine by me. Concussive tears. You know what? On board. You are great. Let's... Ooh. Ah. No, I'll go straight into the shop. I think that's probably better. Blank card hanged man is alright, but it's not like it's going to really change the world, you know. It's not an anime protagonist, so I think we'll have to leave that and uh, hope for the next one. I could save the key and do this, maybe. Alright, we got some extra coinage. It's fine. I'm gonna put my hopes in the final shop being something very much worth it. Something that I can buy a couple items in. That's, that's what I'm gonna hope for here. So it shouldn't be too long until we get to the actual boss. Did Abel just freaking kill a zombie for me? Well, he didn't kill it, but he put it into its uh, pulpy, fleshy form, which is just as good, honestly. Careful! Kill that one, and there we go. I wonder what those flies gain from being on that zombie, because there must be some sort of uh, symbiosis going on there, some sort of mutual benefit for the life forms for them to coexist in such a way, so I really feel like we need it. We do need a David Attenborough-esque documentary through Isaac. We really we really do. And here we see the natural chub in their habitat uh, of the dank depths. Uh, we see her spawning young in order to help defend the nest uh, as she attempts to devour the intruder whole. A curious defense mechanism for one so slow. My impression's a little bit off. I will fully admit, but maybe we could take it to a Morgan Freeman. Which is still not great. It's kind of hard to do impressions where you feel like death, but that's I. And don't worry, I saw the Tinted Rock. I was just testing if you guys had seen the Tinted Rock, so, so I could make sure that you guys are still definitely... Oh, come on! That is some heavy BS there. It leaked some toxicity out into the air while it was above me, so I got hit by the crap. That is unfortunate. Hey, Gish, that's absolutely... Fine by me, just gotta get rid of the little uns. Careful where you're going. Okay, let's calm down now. We wouldn't want anybody to get hurt. Okay, we'll murder them. That is fine. Gonna do a little bomb. Then you're gonna jump at me and end up nowhere near me. Then you're gonna jump at me and get your little ones not exploded because I failed completely with my placement. Ooh, that actually freaked me out a little bit. I will fully accept that. Come on, magic mushroom! I believe. Oh, wait, yeah, it's Little Gish. It has to be Little Gish. What was I even thinking there? Little Brimstone, not crazy for, but I will take Succubus because I very, very much like it. It's vastly becoming one of my favorite, just generally useful items because the fact that it scales with your damage seems insane. The amount of times a Succubus just goes round a room and completely obliterates everything is unreal. Granted, something like Lump of Coal isn't going to affect it because that doesn't actually come up with uh, my damage numbers, but it's still definitely a very, very nice thing to have. Kind of tempted to book a bee this room, but I, I feel like we don't need to. I, I am okay. A dingle wrangling is something that I am not formally trained in, but I, I did once take a night class, and I think I got it going on. Do I want to go in the cursed room? I feel like I should, because as I said, they've been very, very good to me uh, this run, but I kind of want a little bit of extra health, because I still still need devil deals. I still need some final little kick to really bring this run home. And yeah, look at him go, just slaughtering everything. All right, now we've got the money for a double shop, so that's definitely good. Curse of the Blind, yeah, not great, but I, I can deal. I've got an impeccable inner map, which as we all know is a complete and utter lie. As much as that sucked, because I didn't really have a choice but to step into a beam there due to the fact that uh, I'd got myself in a horrible position. That was very much the definition of between a rock and a hard beam, but I managed to get through it. Talking of hard beam, GLaDOS would be a great runner of the basement, wouldn't she? Like, she'd definitely enjoy the sadisticness of it. 
and giving you challenges. That might be good, you know, two items, a key, and a spirit heart in the shop. I mean, I definitely will accept that. There is about to be one very, very lucky uh, shopkeeper here who's uh, going to earn a lot of moolah off me, assuming it's not greed. I'm really convinced it's going to be greed. Uh, we found the boss. That's, that's a good stage one. Now we just need to find everything else that's remotely useful. Just keep mashing through that. There we go. And boom, bada boom. That room was a little bit hairy, but we managed to get through it. Although I guess maybe not hairy, because the things on the fly monster are just giant flies keeping it together. Oh, I never realized that! That big fly thing with the face is just made up of loads of flies! I, this entire time, I genuinely thought it, it was its own creature that just happened to have flies infested into it. Which, admittedly, I don't know why I was thinking that, because that doesn't really make much sense. But you just kind of assume these things when you see stuff like that. Couple keys actually really useful there. Rather it be two spirit hearts, but beggars cannot be choosers. And we found ourselves in a world of pure imagination. <laughs> Okay, that is good. Can you imagine the disclaimer form? Yay! All right, our first genuinely, acceptably, universally good item is here. Oh, good. Good times. That makes me very, very happy. It does. Lemon body. Not really too great. I think as we have the bombs too, I may as well explode all of these and see what happens. Yeah, that's very, very good. Give me that black car and that cherry and that joker. This was good. This was definitely very good as I do a drive by on those fires. That doesn't work that well, but it's still fine. Another chariot, another black heart. Okay, overall, that was a really, really quality experience. But what I do need to do now is find the shop, which is admittedly proving a little bit difficult. Oh, uh, where would you be? Oh, I imagine it's off here, and I kind of want to get in the boss rush and then joke her out, but I also have a feeling that I'm not going to be able to get there in time, and ah, uh, why? Why? I mean, at least it wasn't greed, but it still sucks. Uh, that, however, pretty good. I will accept that wholeheartedly. That one less so, but still, free flying is always excellent. So no boss rush item, which may prove to be our undoing a little bit later on, but I, I think for now we can still kind of deal. And now I do want to go back to uh, the curse room that we found, which was a fairly large distance ago, but I I've been trusting in curse rooms this run, and they've done quite well for us. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep honoring that pact here, right? That down, and then... And then, and then down again, right? It was totally... Yeah! Oh my god, I remembered directions! I guess we gained half a heart from that, so it wasn't horrible. Might as well be worth the trip. I mean, we're not we're not trying to burn time as fast as we can here. So I just got to treat give it gently. Got to do it gently but firmly, much like a good massage. That's how we need to treat this run. So, mother, assuming I've not forgotten anything because of the curse of the blind, which I very well might have done. Let's do this thing. So our damage with Book of Belial is now reaching almost maximum visible damage, which is kind of the point you want to be at for a generally comfortable run. Succubus gives me a lot of good utility so all around I'm feeling pretty confident here all right I am I I will go as far as to say assuming nothing horrifically awful and terrible play happens we should be all right do I joker here I feel like I should, right? Because it doesn't make a difference whether I do it here or there. So let's just see what we would have had. Oh, black powder. Come on. That is just, that is depressing. Absolutely depressing. Maybe I should have saved it for the cathedral. I don't know. Curse of the blind. Well, to be fair, glad I didn't use it on this floor. Although I would have taken any blind to heart devil deal because like, why the hell would you not? So I do really need to get some extra damage just to power up Succubus, but we're kind of on the womb floor already, so unless the chest does anything insane, we're gonna be very, very much struggling. Struggling so much that I need to do a sick vampire impression. 
Shun. Oh. Can a vampire actually get sick? Because he can't, right? Because he's technically dead and there's no blood flowing or anything. So I don't think you could have a stuffy vampire. So actually, that is incredible that I can do an impression of something that's never happened before in real life. And no, it's not just never happened before in real life because there's no such things as vampires. You don't know that. You don't know that. Not that I have any secret desire to be a vampire. Though, to be fair, I already kind of live the vampire life. Like, if I had vampire powers and was super fast and super strong, I'd still pretty much just stay in my office all day. So, really, I think it would just be wasted on me. <laughs> I have bit you, okay? You're one of us now. All right, great. So, can I can I just not do any vampire things and... And, st and stay in my office. Well, well, I mean, you can, but but that's not very vampire-like of you. Well, I mean, you bit me. I didn't ask to be a vampire. You can't really just bite me and expect me to just instantly become part of vampire culture. You, you gotta you gotta be cool about these things, Mr. Vampire. You can't just be a dick. And I've never thought about it that way. Maybe I should change my ways. Maybe you should. Look, uh, look. Uh, have you played WoW? All right, Mr. Vampire. Have you played WoW? It's pretty good. I, I think you might enjoy it. No, what is this? Wow, you talk about it's it's a game. It's a video game a video game And that's how I would teach the vampire the spirit of Christmas through the medium of getting angry at people in online video games And I think therefore I would save the world. That's uh that's how it would be done. Because let's be real, in any of these shows where it's like destined people saving the world on an epic quest, uh, if they realize the true entertainment potential of just staying at home and chilling, illin', illin', they'd probably never do anything. Because so what? Mr. Evil Lord rules the land. He's not affecting me. As long as he's not barring my... As long as he's not messing up my internet connection like a really sick and twisted evil lord. As long as he's not fucking with my internet in an unfair and unreasonable way that no one can really stop. And I, I guess a lord like this, if I had to just come up with a random name, would be something along the lines of Lord... Let's go with... Comcast. I think that sounds like a pretty good one that fits those parameters, but as long as they're not fucking with my internet connection, I I think we would do a very, very good job. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Sorry about that slight little jump cut there, everyone, that you might not even noticed, actually. The reason for which is I'm not telling you. Uh, addicted doesn't really matter. Paralysis? Kind of oh my god, my shaky face! I wish my head could do that in real life. It would fuck with people so much. Just blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's like I've been combined with a Play-Doh. Ooh, come on. I have no need for this. It's such a wasted boss drop. It's such a waste of time. If we get a good devil deal, then it's probably okay. Actually, our range is pretty pathetic here. That's something that's uh, kind of an issue. Good, come on. All right, we got a free random two heart devil deal. Incubus and Gimpy, that's fine. I mean, definitely we've gone to a lot less health than I would ideally like, but at the same time, we. I think we can deal with it. I think we can, but I will totally fully admit to being a little bit nervous here. Like, I will fully say that I'm the kind of nervous that makes me go, Potentially, this might be it. Like, that kind of nervous, which I shouldn't be. I shouldn't be, because as we said earlier, the more confident you are, the better you play. So I shouldn't let it get to me. I shouldn't let the niggling doubt worm its way into my mind like a leash. Did I just take down? How? How did it manage to survive all the way to me? That is some BS is what that is. I mean, the one advantage we do have is we're getting a lot of red heart drops, which means I can take damage and come back and grab them. But that doesn't help us in a boss fight where I just have to kill the thing before it kills me so I'm hoping that something particularly good happens on this floor that makes me go oh, okay all right thank everything for that but you know we got to get to that stage first and I'm gonna look for various secret rooms and the like though saying that if I do waste all my bombs then I can't really bomb through anything on the chest and bombing through stuff on the chest might very well be key to victory here so 
Ooh, I don't know. I just don't know. We got rid of the eye instantly, which is fantastic. Obviously, getting Incubus is effectively just doubling our health, uh, damage output, which is great. What I might do is, once I have reached the end of the floor, I might deliberately find somewhere that I can keep damaging myself with, like, like a fire or something like that. And then what I can... <laughs> Oh my god! So what I'm tempted to do, as I was going to say, is... I'll take one because I'm feeling unsafe. What I was going to say is find somewhere that can just keep damaging me, and then go back and take all the red health, but using that thing that keeps damaging me to give Gimpy a chance to give me loads of spirit hearts, that I think would end up being quite a sensible little decision. But I don't know how best to pull that off in a, in a more safe manner. Because there is a lot of health to make that work with. What do I do? Well, what do I do? Because what if it doesn't work? Oh, I don't know. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Why do I have to make decisions? <laughs> Super secret room containing death. Containing death. Just purely and simply containing death. Uh, do I do it? Do I do it? Do I tacticize? Do I go for it? How do I take the safe route? I think I just take the safe route. I think we were very lucky to find two of these, and I think we'll accept that. Because we do have the vision for the chest, which obviously makes things, oh my word, so much easier and uh, less scary. So we'll blast these guys down. That is fine. Little bit of slow shot. Really, really nice. And uh, yeah, a damage output definitely respectable. And I might actually be able to kill it before I even need to dodge. And kind of, almost, sort of. All right, we definitely don't want to touch the hush with a 10-foot pole, so we'll go up to heaven, as it were, in cathedral form. Let's up boogaloo. This should be okay, and I kind of want to find a tinted rock. Normally, I tend to. On the chest, that was terrible. Why did I walk straight into my death? <laughs> What did I think that I would be gaining by walking straight into that tier? Why am I assuming I have more defensive items than I do? I think that's what's really freaking me out here. The moon, the moon, the moon, the moon, the moon, the moon. I guess we'll use it and uh, see where it ends up. That was very, very close, I'll admit. I did have a little bit of a scare, but we got there in the end. This one should die just as he charges to us. He does indeed. Gotta be careful. So we found the normal secret room. And actually, I think on these floors, the super secret is easier to find. Five hearts should Air quotes here be enough to take Isaac, I think, as long as I don't get really unlucky slash really bad. And then hopefully just having the exact path to go on the chest coupled with hopefully four good items should result in us having a much better time of it. Here I could just let Daddy Longlegs do his thing, because obviously if I found something like Nord Leaf, then ho ho! <laughs> That would be incredible, but I can't just rely on having bitch tactics, because obviously that's not how that works. Uh, I cannot believe I got away with that. Normally, Daddy Long Legs goes into soupy stomp mode of bullshit RNG -er and you just die, so we got very, very lucky there that he just didn't, despite me killing him so excruciatingly slowly it wasn't even funny. <laughs> but that's fine. That's absolutely fine, 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 okay, grab the money just because it means that there's longer until I have to move on. I gotta hold on to these hearts like they are my real life hearts, that's what I gotta do here. That's what I gotta do, thank you very much daddy's love, it is so freaking useful as well as the uh, succubus just going around the room together and annihilating everything. Uh, for me? Oh, okay, we did it. Two more red hearts, but it's kind of irrelevant unless I lose, God forbid, both my spirit hearts. I can't help but noticing that Gimpy is just is just not triggering, and it's it's kind of really upsetting, like, overall. I, I really want to know what up with that, what's, what's he got against giving me some actual health here. I think it's a little bit unfair if I'm real with you. So down to four. I can I can totally make that happen, right? Completely and utterly 
make that happen. Yep, that's cool. That'll explode in a second. And come on, things. That's not things. That's the opposite of things. This, however, is pretty good. We get ourselves uh, an easy Isaac path. Mostly easy Isaac path. So, what do I do? I do want to find the super, super secret room. It's kind of bugging me that I've somehow managed to get this far and uh, not find it. This is really, really unfortunate. If I can just get him off his high horse, that would be great. There we go. Looking good. Get that as it goes past, please, as it keeps rotating past. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering killing him. Normally, in this situation, I would just straight up... Uh, bomb out the room, but a part of me is like, do it, kill him. So if this room drops like a spirit heart, then I'll know there's like a voice from beyond the grave telling me that, that this is what I need. Uh, not really. I mean, I got some moolah. Not even the super secret room. Not even the super secret room. What about this one? Maybe up here. This is my last chance, my last bomb, my last failure. <laughs> do I go for Isaac on four hearts? Or do, do I, do I, do I explore a little bit more and kind of hope for the best. I mean, maybe here it could end up being pretty good. This Loki should die very, very soon. In fact, how he's not dead, I'm kind of not sure. That was a little bit uh, scary. That was definitely very good. What we got in here? Not really worth the trap room. And the thing is, do I want to go in the curse room? If I had a teleport or something, that would be perfect. But I just don't. A at this point, I kind of want to clear everything for completion sake. Now, I will say that based on track record, I always get really super stressed on the cathedral and clear everything and try desperately to find something only to then go into Isaac and not take a single heart in damage. But I think it just it at least makes me feel better about the whole thing. Hierophant, strength is actually really... Really fucking good. I might do it with strength. I might definitely do it with strength, but I still think just at this point, for completionist's sake, I should bother clearing the cathedral. Because there's not, apart from Daddy Long Legs or like a big mega fatty room, there's not a horribly large amount of stuff that is really terrible. Monstro 2 is definitely up there, but he's still not too bad. You're going to brimstone us again? Yes, you are for some reason, even though I've long, long got out of your sight, but that's fine. And uh, nothing from that. So yeah, a strength Isaac fight is really our best bet here. Along with Book of Belial, we'll actually kill him pretty quickly. And obviously it gives me an extra chance at, you know, not dying. I would use the curse room to trigger Gimpy, but I feel like that doesn't work. Because I'll end up accidentally getting myself trapped inside. I just, I just absolutely know it. So uh, there we go. That is surprisingly a very... Very large amount of damage, and that was a pretty slick dodge, if I do say so myself. Of course, I immediately then fail to dodge as that happens, but that's the sod's law. <laughs> so it looks like we only would have got hit once on this Isaac fight anyway. Granted, I can't know how quickly strength helped me kill him, so relative to that, how much... Uh, I ended up uh, saving, but what I do know is we at least get our four items to hopefully, hopefully, hopefully <laughs> make this a much, much less stressful uh, bit of uh, chest exploration. God, I hope so. I really hope so. How many of you thought I was going to leave Vision behind? Because I, I, I will admit, I bet a lot of you thought I would. I have been known in situations to sometimes forget runes. Very rarely, of course, but, but it's definitely been known. I don't think I need to care about the battery. It's not like we're going to get to Blue Baby instantly. Let's be real here. God, I wish I had a way to just injure me. If there was just a fire on this floor, God, that would be good. But there is just not. All right, please, please, if not power, at least survivability. We have four chances, four hopes, four prayers. <sighs> Come on, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks. <laughs> Normally, I don't get Eden's blessing because it annoys me starting with an extra item. But in this situation, I will take literally everything. I will be an item slut till the end of time. And I don't even care about saying that. <gasps> Come on, pop out and try and tentacle me. He, 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 he. Take no damage, please. There we go. Baby, please. <laughs> 
Alright, well, I guess we should at least just generally head towards Blue Baby, even though we probably want to explore a little bit and find ourselves with some description of extra items, because as it is currently, I really do not rate her chances in the general sense. Die, good. Give me an item, please. That's not an item, that a uh, uh, the bombs. Do you not understand the difference, game? Because I'm feeling like you might need it explaining. God damn it, I wanted to kill uh, Bob last there because we could have got a tarot card that might have changed everything. <gasps> but now it changed nothing. Do I go left or do I go up? 50-50 to choose my fate. And admittedly, this one is uh, pretty much fine. This is a very, very easy room. Items, please. Yeah! Items, please! Oh, come on! <laughs> like, like, I, like, for real? Like, come on, I gotta open it. Hey! Alright, little bit of damage up. That's very, very nice. I will not say no to that. I'll get this, because why not at this point? And this should actually be a very easy room. I can just keep them all pushed away from me with the nails. It's like I actually got set up perfectly to do this room. It's like the game knew it was going to be a boss fight and gave me the perfect item to counter it in a wicked, sick, lickety-quick fashion. Alright, got that going on. That is fine. And there we go. Careful. Careful. And no more items. I mean, I'll get... Oh, I just realized I was checking for freaking secret rooms when I can literally see both the secret rooms. That is... That is very, very competent of me. So, this is actually very exciting. If we get something like the shield, then we've just won and I can actually rest easy. I'll get passage just to waste it. Come on, no! No, 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 no! Why do you do this? Why do you do this? The amount of potential there was there. The potential to just be like, you know what? Congratulations, you've won the run. And then... And then just nothing. Just nothing. Okay, do I go for it or do I at least go for the other secret room just in case? These are questions that have been passed down through the ages. What was the tarot card actually? I suppose I should have a look at that because a lot of them will be useful. Oh, wait, no, it's not a tarot card, it's just freaking hours. I remember now, it's because it had the tarot card symbol, and in my in my stressed ways, uh, I forgot that that means that it's uh, also a rune. I forgot that they share the same symbol, it's not my fault. Here we go. This should be quite a fine room, because we can get rid of him pretty much instantly before he even spawns any sides, which I immediately back up into. Even though I was thinking as it happened, wait a minute, there's a good chance I'll back up into a spike right now. That was, uh, that was the song that was playing through my head, uh, as that occurred, and uh, it didn't help me. No, it didn't help me. This, however, does help me. Oh, glorious day. All right, I think with that, we've done it. I think six hearts are definitely enough to comfortably take Blue Baby. I really do get stressed in the Eden Streak, but that's good. That's kind of like why it's fun, you know? The fact that I do care so much about actually guaranteeing my victory is just the entire point of it. Ooh, do I Lemon Mishap? I feel like that actually is something I don't want, because it'll just result in a massive range down, and we already don't have enough range. So I'm going to take my six hearts, I'm going to boogie on over to Blue Baby, and we are going to end this thing. Yes, we are. <gasps> oh, I feel like I'm walking on nails. I'm that nervous. I really do. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, up, Blue Babu. How are you doing? pretty good. I hope so. I mean, I hope you're not doing that good, because I still do have to murder you, but, you know, there's no reason we can't be civil about murdering each other. I think I think a lot of people forget that. Alright, I'll admit that maybe, yes, I was overthinking this. <laughs> I'm not even slightly taking damage, apart from then, when I stopped being careful, of course, but, yeah, alright. <laughs> Like if you enjoyed this theme streak continues. And I'll see you next time. Oh good boy. Yeah.